Okay, so let's go ahead and um, this is real. Uh, who asked, was asking me about watercolor brushes last night? You? Okay, I'm gonna skip number two. I'm gonna go right to number three because I was thinking about that last night and I thought, hmm, how can I answer that question for her to tomorrow? So I happened to have this with me and um, I was, it's because I was gonna show you this side but at home I was playing with some chalk and I was going to make some chalk brushes. And I thought, you know what, I bet if I put some water on that, it's gonna kinda look like paint. So I smeared that, I took a picture of it with my phone and we're gonna make a watercolor brush out of it for you. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> so um, it's, not, it's a little shiny, but I thought, you know, it doesn't matter, it's gonna be fine. So the first thing I did was change the background to a layer so we can work with it. Um, I don't need all of this extra, so let's crop some of that out. And that's just about all I want. Now, what we need to do is go to our favorite tool, Convert to Black and White, my favorite tool today, and we're gonna see what the best black and white is that we can get. And it looks like it might be Vivid Landscape. I might even be able to bring the contrast up a little bit. And for this, we definitely want some transparent areas. So I think that looks just fine. Let's change, uh, check the image size. I think it's gonna be okay. It's 72 pixels by 27 inches in width. So. Let's go ahead and make that 300. And now our height is, we're gonna have to change to 2500 in order to be able to make the brush work in Photoshop Elements. Okay. Make sure you have your constrained proportions checked down here so that that stays uh, perfectly sized. So that should work for us. I'd like to go ahead and see if I can get some of that, um, get it more white. So by layer, new layer adjustment and levels. Let's, we should get a pretty good result by using the black and white here. That looks pretty good. I might even move that up just a little bit more to get rid of some of those edges but I don't want to get rid of too much of that transparent blobby edge there. So I think that's going to be okay. And I want to make sure I merge those down so I'm working with, with just one document. Um, let's go ahead and make the brush and then clean it up a little bit because I think you might need to know how to do that when you're working with something like this. So we'll go to ed Edit, Define Brush, and this is Watercolor Brush. I just close that out of the way and open up a new document to work with. Uh, we want a new layer and we want to work in black. So click on the Brush tool and that Watercolor brush should be right at the bottom. And just click on your layer. And now you have your brush, but it's pretty messy. And we can take care of that. You talked about, uh, Michelle talked in a seg her last segment yesterday about masking. <clears throat> I'm gonna put a mask on that. And remember she said that black conceals and white reveals. So I want to get rid of this extra stuff around here. So I'm going to grab a soft edge brush, make it a little bit bigger, <clears throat> click on the white mask, make sure your foreground color is black, and when we paint over this, you know what, to begin with I'm going to make this a little less opaque, a little harder brush to begin with. It'll be a little bit faster. 
we'll paint over this and get rid of these harsh edges. And make sure that you don't get too much gone because you want that nice bleed on the edge.